Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are in a new game called Death and Taxes. As the old saying goes, two things in life are inevitable, death and taxes and this game takes that to the oomph degree. Anyway, it's a fun looking game, I thought it would be fun to play it on the channel, so new game, let's -a go! Lemons. Skip intro. Fate Keeper of World Order. <laughs> they just had to make an Abbey Road reference. <laughs> I like that. We are the Grim Reaper. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife? Sure. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number four, seven. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. All right. Uh, where am I? What is this? What am I? Hello, pleasure to meet you, fate. I don't care much for being just for seven. Can I be fate? <laughs> Another ironic one, Grant. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis <coughs> City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. How lovely. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. How fun. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Will I get paid for this? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Oh, lovely. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the <coughs> primary task is... <laughs> executed correctly. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Why me? Because someone has to. Come along. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. 
When the week is done, you will be assessed. It doesn't sound good. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Oh, witchcraft. My instructions for the day. Welcome, Grin. Alright, why? I need a... Is there a pause button? Oh, yay. This game's... Way too loud. Yeah, I think that's not good. Yeah. Lovely. There are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to sell, and so no difficult rules are requested as of today. Close for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Karam Altma, Wido, Keo Eka, mm-hmm. I wonder if there are other Grims here. The fa Dex Fax Machina. I still need to mark some of the files before I end my shift. I have a phone at least. Good for progressing and scrolling through Cocker. I wonder if I'm making a difference. Oh. The marker of this. Pick it up and start. Marking some files, well... Alright, uh... I can barely read that. So, robotics engineer and a farmer. Karma has been into robotics ever since... Their parents gifted them a mechanical construction set for their 7th birthday. They use to work at the Space Exploration Agency to assign robot roar workers to be sent to other planets. They are an avid fan of violent action films. Oh, okay, that's nice. Kylos lived in four different countries, finally sat down at the Sun Country Wine Region where they now work as a a culturist. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. Alright, so he's lived a good life and long life. I guess. Joyce is fine, confirm. Yeah. And then. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster! You jest. I once scoured many sea and land, alleviating merchantmen from the burden of excess wealth. Aye, ye are visiting me ultimate dream, the Emporium! Browse at your will. Um, we don't have any money. Oh. 
the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Okay, I guess. Good, good. I understand it may take time to get acclimated. Everyone goes through that phase. What is he? Is he just like a sort of Remember, god or deity? Lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? Indeed, I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. I don't know Such if you is can the tell. unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, Iron-clad law of cosmos. Question? Sure, we'll go with that. You are to mark the profiles I send you with the marker of death, choosing who lives and who dies. Afterwards, you fax the files back to me. Any specific daily requirements will be noted in the letter. Not that difficult, yes? Sure. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Ooh, I got paid. And I get personal quarters. A looking glass weighs in ultimately deep into the abyss of, of the underworld that reflects everything. Well, mostly just you. In poop, God of Death, Mummification, Embalming, the Afterlife, Symmetries, and Tombs, and the Protector of the Underworld. This sound really gets around. And catch you a stone. Canine Visage. The coin. The thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. We will buy that. Buy a perfect reflector or wait. Yeah. Oh. Tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood washed ashore from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covers it in all gold, too. Coarse. I, a proper beauty. All right, lovely. I can have a hat. Sure. End the day, sure. The Grim Office. They will stop making noise if I put it in my desk. Ah, okay. Grins of a particularity over a quality of wines. Grims. Sun County. Tomorrow, science intense debate ensures that freelance engineer unveils custom. Design combat robots with extreme, the ex, with extensive weapon attachments. All right. Shiny. Morning, Grim. Or wait, actually. Oh. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules for today. Follow them. And you'll be okay. I am handing you another simple task. Quote for the day one human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Cobbler. Um. Me and can't even count the amount of shoes they've made. The 
cream of making shoes that gives an understanding of how it feels to be in other people's shoes because actually wearing other people's shoes doesn't really give any particular insight. Alright. Nurse. And general contractor. Perform. Engineer and industrial. So really only that one can die. Born to my repairs, Kathy was expected to go far but never became a doctor. They told long hours at the local hospital and loved their job while not being gentle with Neil around old patients who accidentally touched their butt. When not working, Kathy lives in a tiny apartment doing laundry, sleep, and then you can pick out. And then, Sif so Pinterest building, not much else to do. To it, they tried their best to manage balance between the demands of the clients and the experimental ideas of architecture. In their spare time, they like carve small sculptures. So this guy, unfortunately, is the one who passes away. Ah! Reckless abandon. How was the second day on the job? Meh. You do not seem to be enjoying yourself. No matter. It will pick up. I love how I made my character colorful. So, did you follow the rules properly? Almost! Okay. By the looks of it, you did fine. <laughs> so, continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. I hope I get a kill. Or wait, can I get a vacation? Nope. Oh. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Aww. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Payday. Oh, we can't go there. Jolly Roger. Oh. Again ye honor me, tiny abode, with your visit. Oh, no. Falls is elegant countenance is meant to be worn for celebrations during the coolest time of the year. It really brings out the eyes, those deep, soulless, empty, dark eyes. I heard Gore Cloven. Every old reasoner. The rest of your Accelerated electro and various frequencies generated by the artful bright versions of eternal reoccurrence with Shavro for the Afer and then blast them at you. Hmm. Sadly, I can't afford that. Alright, so we get the radio. Because I like music. seems somewhat alive. The day of the moon is the forest haunted by which is creepy little wooden statues found all across the nearby woods. More in health, nurse wins procedures, ward there's more to medicine than just doctors. Oh now that's nice. Open me. More in grim. The new day dawns. You ought to know the drill. And I have to go real quick. My mom just saw my dog's leash. She chewed on it when I was taking her home from the park. 
she wasn't happy. She didn't want to go home. Alright. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here is another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles and send them to me by fax. Alright. Antonio is a nice guy working at a failing startup with a friend. Often they walk their golden retriever around at the local park, meeting other dog owners. They're happy to help anyone with the tech issues, expecting a little in return. Maybe only a nice warm meal, but if that happens, it lead to more afterwards. They won't say no. Alright. And then... Lucas got tangled in a whole organized crime web at an early age. The debts their brother had incurred to sell score Lucas was forced into working as a driver, although as of late they seem to have been getting their hands dirtier. Ah. Lucas had been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time they've worked hard to relax on relaxing the government's mail in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, they have been rumors that Lou has taken many bribes from a number of real tour agencies. Hmm. Military trainer slash leader. And if you ask the outdoorsman, Laylee has been skulking <coughs> the forest around Cosmopolis City since they were a little kid. The very past in the year, they've grown more paranoid about many organizations, so they decided to set up. A camp in the middle of the forest where they train new members for a clandestine militia. Mm. Col Columba is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a well-regarded passenger plane pilot. They have been married and have five children as a hobby. Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. So, I think the politician is definitely on the chopping block. And uh, let me reread this. So, of course, Lucas was forced into working as a driver. All right, Lucas got tingled in the whole organized crime web at an early age. Your desperate brother should encourage us. So, of Lucas was forced into working as a driver. Although, as of late, they seem to have gone their hands dirtier. Yeah, so I think those two are going to be the ones we choose. So, you get to live. And... You get to live. And then you get to live. A both of you... Not allowed much longer in this world. to confirm your choices? Yes. <coughs> Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Quality? Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? I feel hungry all the time. How is that even possible? Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. <coughs> there really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Alright. Money! I like money. Let's see. The suit would work. This suit would make me 
looks sharp and professional while the bow tie adds a subtle flavor of levity. Fit for the funeral of clowns. one of theirs. Stole a great deal of time ago, though. <laughs> like tis between two months at least. I remember it was like yesterday. Barely what? made it out of the wardrobe alive. Have ye seen how far it goes? Many skeletons are in there. Almost became one of them. But ye can't trip old Mortimer that easy. What? <laughs> well, we're broke. Tuxedos. But it's are cool. Yeah, we're gonna continue just being colorful. It's been raining for hours, a purple to accompany the despondence with enemy. Well, here are the rules for you. Quill for the day free humans have to die, another day another death fate. Alright. So we have to take three of these people. Because two things in life are inevitable, death and taxes. Anyway. Cronius all survived in the plane crash due to a skillful efforts of pilot. Local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. And fog gunned down during a police raid of a suspected mob hideout. Nice guys to finish last if you know what I mean. Ooh. Small militia group gets into a gunfight with law enforcement. Several people were reported injured. Ah. Alright, crime scene investigator. Mary Ann makes grievous puns on crime scenes constantly while making the puns. They usually also slowly remove their sunglasses. This behavior doesn't hinder their professional ability at all. Often they actually find the biggest clues mid pun. Alright. And then you are. Green teaches language as an literary. Criticism to high schoolers and others has called things considered they've an interest in education science with the aim to upgrade the teaching methods of other teachers as many of the old timers are not up to date with modern approaches. Grim, I am watching you. Should you mark this profile lit? You should mark this profile to live. Hey. Alright. And there you have Pearl. Ola was a successful bank robber, finally getting caught after the a robbery. After spending a philosophically full t ten year prison since they merged with unique insights, they've been teaching the Institute of Deconstruction of Central Cosmopolis University ever since. Hmm. Hmm. That's stupid the stupendium. A singer-songwriter who, after years of hard work, still doesn't seem to catch a break. Their original material just doesn't grab people, which is why they became an imposter of the famous singer Caffrio Cicept, also known as The Count. Their career seems to be on an upswing. That's a stupendium. <laughs> he made a song of this game, too. It's very good. Check it out. And his other stuff. He's a fantastic music person. Alright. 
Oliver stole toys when they were young and their family was struggling to find happiness and misery. As they got older, they became a regular swindler in order to improve their living situation. But after a while, saw the futility of their endeavor in the pursuit of finding a life they deserve. They've assumed to identify to identity of an identity thief. Yeah, identity theft is a serious crime. So three of these people have got to do this. Uh, what's his face wants me to mark this person as live, so we will follow their instructions. I'm sorry, you stoops. You're also an identity thief. Ryan also makes curious puns, and... Hey, you've lived a long life. And then you can live. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just <coughs> as requested. Excellent work. Alright. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Bye bye, Bossman. Um. What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Pair of six sash modern glasses. They grant a pleasant face to wear and make me look wicked smart. Way smarter than the boss, you know. Triple made out of rubber. We don't really plunder educational organizations, eh? You can't rob the ideas hiding inside the brain. Well, Usually. So where did I get these fancy scholarly glasses, you ask? Once, they belonged to a royal merchant whose caravan I held at gunpoint. So he made me an offer I couldn't review. Tis be a powerful artifact, turning one into a formidable business powerhouse. How'd ye think I got a hold of this shop? I wonder how much of everything he does is just... I'm trying to sound cool. and colorful. Cultural mag, higher education seniors help bring peaceful solutions to similar conflicts. Famous investigator comes out with a pun so hard and the suspect actually gets a heart attack. 
faculty and students at Central Cosmopolis University, more passing a beloved philosopher teacher. Delmore's latest manuscript on the teachings of disbelief to be published posthumously. The Taurus identity disappears, but are they truly dead? We can never be sure. CEO of the Wat Wat social media platform plan to open a museum of antiques and relics. <coughs> Good European attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent. Else mistakes may seek into the workflow pipeline. Quote for today, two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. I hope you are enjoying the routine. Biochemists, he said to let any who are, have a science background to live. So we will do that. Math petition, that is not science. A sharp man and quick wood have Sir Fiona well. They are the math experts in a popular science show, making math cool again and hoping no one notices their extreme tax fraud endeavors. <laughs> <laughs> tax fraud? Well, do you think they're inevitable death and taxes? So definitely meet one of those. Is there any research for Green Tomb Raider? Consensus has not been reached when it comes to the Net archaeologists, for the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Faradin region. Unfortunately, this guy does have a background in science, so... Live. Ken enjoys their job as a receptionist. More than anything, their infectious smile can turn even the biggest frown upside down, brightening the moods of hundreds of people every day. Gwendolyn is not exactly sure when their career as a network engineer stagnated. It's definitely not what they dreamed of doing with their life, but they're barely just content enough that their large family depends on their income. Any community manager? Erica is an avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office of the Paradox Digital Sports League. They are also a death metal vocalist passionate about getting the very best out of a performance. So, who will go? Mathematician who likes tax fraud? Yeah, tax fraud. You won't get away with that. Hmm. One of you has to die. Let's just flip the coin. Alright, you gotta live. Alright. As for you, tales for you. Alright. And then heads, you die, tails, you live. You die. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. <laughs> Uh, every moment is living hell. I hate this job. Hmm. Distressing. This should not be happening. Perhaps something went awry at the summoning. Oh well. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? I'm not sure. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the human, 
Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you made? But you had out the rules and make me do the choices. It were too much. If this is what has to be done, I'm not happy about the situation, no. Uh. Yet you have no opportunity to elicit a change. It may sound unfair, but it is not. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Uh, no, oh. that one. <clears throat> Not at all. Mm, I am, quite so. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk, a result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? No. An astute observation. You see, Grimm, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all, excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must Why do you look rules. like a human, though? Anything else? I haven't actually seen any underage profiles. Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Countless. Myriad. Exactly. Anything else? A mouse. They get the part. Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? Technically, uh, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Anything else? Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Money. Knock knock. Who's there? That's exactly the question, ain't it? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex nihilo. We are nothing, a despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray, if only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Fine. Not a Fine. cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? Be seeing you, Reaver. It's a grim world out there. Hmm. Intriguing. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Yeah.
Yeah, I can't afford anything because I'm poor. And today, yes. Especially in formerly war torn fair Eden. We have to do something about the loon that's re escalating the conflict. The biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out by f flowing a fleet, following a fleeing cat. Are we safe? Young biochemist finds a vaccine for chicken flu. Chicken flu vaccine sh shots now free thanks to a donation from a local business. My trust falls on the singer at the local concert venue. IT firms dealing with massive data breach lawsuit caused by a careless worker. The smiles of the receptionist is literally making the world a better place. Another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. The world's oldest person still around and kicking. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. Until six humans have to die, at least two humans age 60 or older have to die. Any humans with an economy related profession have to die. This is very serious fate. So. <coughs> Alright, banker. As is a widely celebrated economist, is called the preeminent expert in market manipulation. For the past decade, they've appeared on many television programs advising people when and where to invest their funds. All right. Venture capitalist. Gaines had great success with investigating into the technology sector, especially during the wave of startups. They seem to have a sense in picking out firms with high growth potential. Lately, they've flocked into the game and the street trying to find yeah trying to find anything that catches their eye all right and we need two economic and those two both have that office drone I really didn't expect to spend as much time with a printer scanner copier as they do is old slow and unreliable the dream of one day destroying the printer scanner copier with a baseball bat you know they set up a penny skimmer program inside their company computer network hmm. career mario is there anything more exciting and confusing at the same time sometimes it feels as if the artists are deliberately crafting outrageous works to attract people into galleries to badmouth these pieces so it seems Beverly yet to Beverly yet they have an amazing eye for curating. Retired Jean Baptiste is a retired carpenter and a veteran of a long ago military conflict. Adam Arzolia Peninsula for years they have to, had to deal with bouts of PTSD which they've managed to alleviate in the trial of years by painting and composing Elionic folk songs. They run a successful investment phone on the side. Alright, it's strange from their grinch child in life, job dreams of gaining their favor in or more specifically after death by passing on their priceless heirloom necklace, a tea tart they perform while they live and due to the restraint in order. Alright. And ooh, Justice takes the greatest pleasures in listening to wondrous bird songs every morning after waking up. They spend most of their time at home as moving around has become burdensome, although it's still possible. They love vanilla ice cream and bananas. And, yeah. And then recruit. 
Barofa is a top gun at many multi-level marketing companies that sell everything from subjuices and vitamins to toilet scrubs. Despite starting their every recruitment pitch with, it's not a pyramid scheme, but they keep bringing in dozens of naive people every week. Alright, we need to take six of these folks. Alright, you... Your life's very wholesome, you get to live. And then you... You desire death. And then you... Someone tells me you'd accept death. Alright, so that's one... Two, three. Alright, and two humans, and any humans with economic related professions have to die. So let's see, I think that might be six, three, four, five. So what would these two have to? You know what? I want this guy to live and fulfill his dream. Or cram, I accidentally did that. Well, the curator gets to sadly live. Alright. <coughs> ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary, even if it makes us suffer. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Perhaps an economic crash, corruption, bad management. Diff is diff. I know it was bad. That's what matters. Perhaps an economic corruption, bad management. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Mm -hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Dad, what what do you want? A fresh faced lemon head. Uh, exactly what I wanted to see today. Hey now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? What do you do here? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. What do you mean? Liquors, spirits, food, fire water, rock cut. <laughs> Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? <coughs> Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage straight to the floor. I was wondering why the floor is so sticky. The grass, right? A gift to the world from all you pompous reapers. Or could be at least a little more considerate. I appreciate Gee, you. Uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? How do you clean things anyway? Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. One droplet at a time. Yes. Isn't that kind of inefficient? Could use a bit of modernization, yeah. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them, literally. Could be they've kind of busy. I'll make a name for myself. Or no, I've got a name. Do you really? Or are you just another number in a long <laughs> line of numbers? Hmm. Eh, something else you wanted? 
Why can't you tell me about the barkeep? They're hella cool. Why, thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't ya? Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. Who were you before? What's that supposed to mean? You know what, human, were you? Why does everyone think ghosts are dead humans? I mean, you are. So you're not a human. Of course not. No. Oh, ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. I am the ghost of a ghost. Hang on. You are a ghost and then you die? How does that work? Does this mean you're practically immortal? I figured you'd first have to be alive to count as immortal. It's a bit more complicated than that, but honestly, I ain't got the patience to teach you ghost history, so... Eh, something else you wanted? Very nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get back to work anyway. Oh. I welcome you to Cerberus's Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Well, you just dapper like the River Acheron. Yeah, but screams vintage. So, how are you liking existence thus far? It sucks. I hate here. Imagine it ain't easy being a new reaper. It's a difficult job, even on the best of days. But sometimes, we just gotta grit our teeth, buckle down, and sally forth. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little uh, game I play with every fresh faced patron. It's real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. I'm not sure about this. Come on, it'll be fun! Right, <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. You are given the chance to level up one attribute of your character. Which aspect would you increase? Uh, Skulligence. Time for question number two. The globe has been struck with what can only be described as a zombie apocalypse. Oh no. You're stuck at home with little supplies and no weaponry to defend yourself with. What is your strategy? This could turn into zombie. It's the safe thing to wait to get by. But the zombies and apocalypse scenarios are so played out. Next up, question three. Almost there. Before you lies a table teeming with plants. You have to eat one of the plants. Your very life depends on it. What kind of plant would you prefer to eat? Cactus. <laughs> all right. Final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs. Right. You get to cook for a group of friends, but are lacking some very important ingredients, without which your meal will hardly be a masterpiece. From what little you can scrounge together, which will make the best topping for a pizza? Uh, come on, you know, it's pineapple. The only choice is pineapple. Stop playing to yourself. You think you'll get an option other than pineapple? Pepperoni, to pour an option. I want ham! We're doing all fine. We'll go with onion. Or no pepperoni. We got it. Let me just calculate the results. We'll take a moment. <laughs> hmm. Leans to stability. Prone to conformity. Mm hmm. I've got the appropriate concoction in mind. Let's start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin. One centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Splash in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well smashed cucumber and some cute eyes. I have no idea what to think of this. The quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be Borehole. First one's on the house. Goodbye, not to the bartender. 
They're drinking smoothly, waves rolling onto the coast and receding gradually. A constant rhythm of systematic alteration grinding off the edges. The taste recalls a harmonious interplay of physical forces soothing a turbulent soul until all that's left is a polished plane of alabaster. It's almost a death changing experience. I guess I like it. Heck, an understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? The tip jar is pretty neat. Oh, thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. It's a bit of a hassle though. It keeps multiplying all the time. <coughs> Take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglet everywhere. Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Now what's your take on the janitor? Been chatting to our spooky one, eh? <laughs> eh? Don't mind the grump, it's a ghost thing. Gus especially has a pretty dang irascible nature, but there's a layer of performance to it. In truth, they've been hella helpful around the den throughout the ages, and I'm grateful for that. Besides, the office itself couldn't operate without Gus and company. What else you got in mind? Who else works in the office? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? You likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. We've got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weariless data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Cadaver resources, there is plenty odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us. Basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Here we go Au now. revoir, Lil Reaper. <laughs> Grim day. Welcome back to the den. What can I get you? Au revoir, little reaper. All right. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. I think we're all good. I guess we can just go to the next day. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Go for today, two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Keep vigilant fate. Do we need better PTSD care? Yes, we do. Respect it finance are found dead after devastating market crash. Two sides suspected. Crooked bankers, master bank officials under investigation for years long fraud. MLM recruited demonstrates companies, flagships who produce poison self. An uncompromising artistic vision. Vangalora, now open at the local Museum of Modern Art. World oldest person finally sheds their mortal coil at the incredible age of 114. Coming to get stolen money back, money surge acts as production invests. Invigoration. AI breakthrough imminent. Promises founder of Trans Global Inc. I don't trust AI. Retired. Titus is the latest heir to a noble frigid. As such, they managed to retire young due to all 
They inherited wealth. These days they spend their time lounging listlessly in constant renewal. Alright. <clears throat> Activist. Hiller believed that anyone not carrying a gun everywhere is practically naked and openly begging to be get assaulted. The impulsion there to implement a stricter gun policy starts getting death threats from Hiller which has greatly reduced the number of regulations. Alright, she seems unstable. Press her on. Owner got munchies for shark fin, but can't find any. Not in Lucy's Eximar is near. They're a big fan of shark fin and other questionable foods like turtle jelly, which Lucy has served in the restaurant for a decade. They are also involved in distributing these food items in grocery stores. That guy sounds immoral. Toll. Or immoral. David is the founder of Trans Global Inc., a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost component of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. I don't trust AI. Mobster. Don Fear tries to model themselves after the old mafia novel and films. Without realizing the stories are made up by offers who had no connection to or understanding of organized crime, soon enough they'll realize there are no honor codes and family bonds. Crime is just crime. Hmm. And receptionist. Crows tries to spice up their our monotonous life by flirting with customers at work, things didn't go very swimmingly as a regard until the day Cora are wearing their late grandmother's heirloom necklace. Now one client is particularly seems very interested. Alright. This guy isn't very helpful. This person seems like they're only gonna do more harm. That guy, immoral but... Not the worst, and this guy, he's a mob Don. We don't like Dons here. Alright. And then, yeah, I'm all for good gun law, but sending death threats over, yeah, no. And then you're allowed to live. And you, you're just a waste of space. But you can live. Your short, your probably long, monotonous, boring life. And you, same. And I guess because you're a receptionist, you can live too. Let's get paid first, shall we? Oh. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Yeah, I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Luther. Be seeing you. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Uh... I think I managed to follow the rules. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded uh -oh. the site eval. <laughs> now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. 
Hey, I wanted to ask you about today. Yes? What about today? Yesterday went really bad. What about today? Today? Mm. Oh. Everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Alright. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. <coughs> Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Even more money? Yes! We do what we can to provide for our spawns. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Alright. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. This has been hard. Does it get easier? Silly Grim. This was an evaluation period for a reason. Uh oh. Things will only get more severe. As such, your seven day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Ooh, 400. All right. I keep wondering you get this plant. Hey now, Sonny. We don't belong to nobody. Holy well, eh? Talking plant. Holy cartilage, a blathering bonehead. Ha ha. What in the? Don't stare too much. It'll make your eyes pop right out of your face. Ha ha ha. Hey, are you from the plant Who department? Who told you about the plant department? I've heard rumors. Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anyway. I don't believe Not you. gonna lose any sleep over that, Sonny. Really? We deny everything. That's a strange, but I... Oh, you can tell nah, me. Ain't nothing to tell. Don't be such a killer. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong. Seriously, you can, can trust we, me. Can we really? I can keep a secret. You have to tell You're me. You're not gonna leave us alone otherwise? Sonny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big. But it's very busy. Why is it busy? What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. <laughs> there are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. Does that count every single shrimp? Oh god. <laughs> Why didn't you say so to begin with? We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Doesn't the mystery act just make you more compelling to people? Eh, might be. Can't help it though. There's theater in my xylem. Anything else? Seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry. So what's your name? Me? I'm Herbert. You know, sort of like a herb -ert. A herb? <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke? Really tough crowd, huh? Everyone's a critic these days. <laughs> Don't forget the green fella holding me up. That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Say hello, Tim. 
Hello, Tim. <laughs> Is there really nothing unusual at the? Who's Tim? Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and have the most delightful aroma. Wait, so is he just going, that's Tim? Hmm. And the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. Anything else? Is there really nothing unusual to plant the part? Okay, we see you got a keen mind, so we'll let you in on a secret. But you didn't hear this from us. Got a promise you won't spill a bean. I promise that'll work. If at some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizome reaches far and wide, right into your room if need be. And these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap! Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> a fitting punishment for the wicked. Snap, I say. So listen. Closely. We're secretly trying to make human plant hybrids so they can conquer the world. Haha, <laughs> real funny. I know. <laughs> There's a bee department. Of course. Makes perfect sense, don't it? Uh, d d don't ask about the bee department. Anything else? Yeah, I'll cut you later. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Much happening here today. It's a slow Sunday. Anything I, I can like get a you? drink. Sure. What's your poison? Uh, heat death of the universe iced coffee. <laughs> Guaranteed to keep you energized until the last ever star in the universe blinks out of existence. The sweet and icy overtones of the mixture block out the bitter. Earthy taste of coffee. Be honest, coffee really does taste like dirt. Yet as the frozen cubes clink against your teeth, this whole endeavor feels distinguished and hip at the same time, just like the end of the universe. What's the deal with the plant? You mean my favorite pot chock full of plant department goodness? They usually drop it on Sundays due to an aversion of people, which is funny because they're really quite sociable. Yes, Person I know. Personally, I love their quirky sense of humor. What else is there to say? Au revoir, Lil Reaper. Hmm. Meet your fate. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? Valero. This used to remove previous mistakes, meaning it erases which mark you made on a profile when you saw me. Avast! This tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> Amazing little thing. Hmm. Oh, seriously, terror inducing visage. Visage. But then again, he wouldn't want to look like an ant living monstrosity. Besides, cynicals are extremely useful and practical. And then, we could reflect swirl and blah blah blah. Alright, it seriously looks like there should be more people, but there's not. the end of the day i will call this it i do hope you guys have enjoyed please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you all in the next one goodbye
Mm-hmm.